Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video tutorial, we're going to be doing another visual effects. And then this time, we're going to be working on same blood effects. So let's roll the introduction and get right into it. <laughs> So I have my default project in front of me and we are using the particle effects that we used in a previous episode. So I'll have the link in the description below. And the sprite that I'm using is also from Open Game Art. You can see that I have this blood sprite here. And the author that you want to find is PWL. And also I'll have the link for this in the description below as well. So if I were to run my game right now, you can see that we're working on a top-down view. This little green box is my player, and then I have a cursor icon here. I have some debug information at the top, and then in the output, I'm actually outputting the instance count, and we'll get to that in one second. So what I want to have happen is whenever I left-click, I want to instantiate our particles to make that blood splatter. So if I open up my objects and I go to the object player, you can see in the global left press here, this is where I want to add all that information. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get the direction and I want to actually make it the opposite direction. So I've already created a script called point direction opposite. And if we take a look at that, we're just using the point direction and then adding 180 to get the opposite direction of where we're facing because we want the blood to be actually sprayed the opposite direction that we're facing. Now, the next thing we want to do is instantiate our particle system. So we'll just call this one instance underscore blood. And once again, we can get away with instance create depth. But let's choose the mouse X position, the mouse Y position, our current depth, and then we want to instantiate those particles there. Now, with this particular instance, we need to set up a few things. The first thing we want to do is set up the size, and we're going to make this pretty small. And the reason we're making this small is because we're going to assign the sprite. And if I go into my sprite, you can see it's 120 by 120, and that's, that's a really big sprite. So we're going to scale it down a lot. Now, once we've scaled it down, let's also set our sprite. So we'll say set sprite and set it to that blood sprite. No, we don't want to animate this particular particle. No, we don't want to stretch it over time. And yes, please choose a random frame. Now that that portion is done, let's actually continue on with some of the settings that we need to make the blood actually look nice. So for this instance, we'll set our orientation to be a random degrees of 0 and 360. And then let's set the color. So we'll say, I'll copy and paste that, set color. And we want a mix between C red and then a darker red. So we'll make our color RGB. We'll use 128 red, zero green, zero blue, which is a nice dark red. Now let's set the alpha. So we want it to start between a random range of, let's say, 0 0.6 and 1. And then we're going to have it fade out to 0. Now we need to add some direction and this is where we're going to be using that opposite direction. So let's use a set direction and then we can come up here, copy this variable and let's give it a little bit of spread. So opposite direction minus 40, opposite direction plus 40. So that will give us a nice spread of blood. Now let's set the speed. We're going to start or we'll have a minimum of five speed and a maximum of 10. And we want to decrease over time pretty quickly. So it will take 10 frames to completely stop the, the blood uh, actually being splattered. And then finally, let's say set life and let's set it in between 150 and 180. So that's all we really need to do to get our blood working. Uh, the final thing we should do is actually burst this and let's burst 20 particles whenever we click. Now, the reason I'm running some of the debug information here is you can see when I click, we have that nice blood effect that does fade out and our, our draw calls actually do go down, but our instance count stays at three. So you can imagine if we're putting in a whole bunch of different uh, enemies and we're hitting them, our instance count is actually pretty high. So what we can do with this particle system here is we could actually say what I want to do is I want to set a timer and we know that the maximum amount of life that a particle is going to have is 180 frames. So we could set this to 180 or we could give it a little bit of lee room. And so with this timer, what's going to happen is automatically those particles are going to get cleaned up after 200 frames. So you can see we're at seven, six, and now we're back down to two instances. So everything is automatically cleaned up. So we don't really have to worry about anything. And you can see we actually have a nice blood splat here. It's a nice effect. So yeah, hopefully you can use this in your game. And yeah, thanks for watching.
Hi, thanks for watching the video. A special shout out to those who have decided to support me through Patreon in no particular order. Ian, Ashby, Paul, Victor, Alex, Edward, Robert, Timothy, Yato, and Annie. And I've also decided that I'm going to be putting up a bunch of prototypes on itch.io, so please stay tuned as I fix up the code and get them uploaded. And also, if you like what you saw, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, or click that like button. Thanks again.